Hi everybody, I'm Andre Ali and in this video I'm going to talk about makeup essentials. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and if you want to know what I think your makeup essentials should be, then please keep on watching. No matter how many tutorials are here on YouTube, makeup can still be overwhelming for some of you. So I figured I should make a list with what I think your makeup essentials should be. And the first thing that I'm going to start with is not makeup related. And that would be moisturizer. You have to have a moisturizer. You can put on foundation, you can put on powder, anything on your skin unless you've been moisturizing first. And sometimes moisturizer can act like a primer as well. So that is really, really, really important. I don't care if it's like really cheap or very expensive. You know your budget. Here I give you like two options. Something very affordable, the Embryolise Les, uh, Les Concentré. I have this in my kit and I love it. And this really works with everybody. And the other moisturizer that I have is the La Mer Moisturizing Cream. And this is a very thick, rich moisturizer that I like to use mostly for over 45, over 50 years old women. But not only, also if I have someone with very, very dry skin, you might say, Oh, but I have oily skin. It does not matter. Don't forget that even oily skin needs moisturizing. Second item would be concealer. Concealer, I feel like it's the secret of the universe. It just brightens up your whole face. And sometimes you don't even need to wear a foundation, especially on summer days, if you if you have concealer. Depending on your needs, I recommend a concealer that can also act as a corrector. That means that whenever you have a blemish or a pimple, you can cover that up with a tiny little bit of concealer. I recommend the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And you're gonna say, oh my god, but that, that is too thick. Not everybody can use that. I can tell you that I have all the shades and I use them for absolutely everybody. First, you need to add like the tiniest little bit of product. And then you can use your fingers to blend. But if you have like really dry skin under your eyes, I recommend you to just take a tiny little bit of concealer, take a little bit of moisturizer or your eye cream, doesn't matter. You just mix them together and you're just gonna make your concealer so much more fluid and sheer and natural. Now, of course, there are so many concealers out there and it's not the only one that I recommend, but this is like, it's very versatile for me. If you want something creamier, you could try Bobbi Brown. They have really good concealers as well. I like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That's a really good one. And as a light reflector, I really like the um, Clinique Airbrush Concealer. You have to have a foundation even if you don't use it every day but then what if you have a party what if you have some place that you have to go and you have to you know look a little bit better than your regular self it's really good to have a foundation and you know i've been telling you about this foundation all the time i really love the armani luminous silk it's one of those products that are so good for so many skin types and they have a good range of colors i think it's better to have it and not need it than the other way around powder i don't care if you're 21 or 61 you need to have a setting powder if you're very young you probably have combination skin which means you're pretty dry in here and then you're pretty oily on the T-zone, the forehead, the nose, and the chin. Use a setting powder just on the center of your face to mattify that excessive shine. It will also help your foundation to last longer. If you're, if you're a mature woman and you have really dry skin, you can still use powder. Just use the tiniest amount with a fluffy brush. Just after you set your concealer, use a tiny little bit under your eyes then around your nose and maybe your chin and that's it and i obviously recommend the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder this is one of my favorite but if you're uh heavy-handed i recommend you the uh, charlotte tilbury airbrush powder it's a compact powder but it's really fine i really love that one and and i don't have it in here i'm sorry it's somewhere in my makeup kit mascara they even named a mascara better than sex. So do I really need to say more? Are you into those thick, long, 
I've used a lot of mascara today kind of lashes. Then try the Better Than Sex, this one, from Too Faced. It's a great mascara, I use it for myself, but then if you're more like on the natural side and you, and you don't want those thick kind of eyelashes, then use the eye coat. This is honestly a great mascara. It separates the lashes and what I love about it is that it doesn't run on your lower lash line. I use this mostly for my clients. In your kit, you must have an eyebrow product. And I give you two options in here. If you wanna fill in your eyebrows, if you have those sparse areas and you want to make them look a little bit thicker, then I recommend you the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are, for me, there is no other better product than this. This is the best formula. They have 11 colors. Besides that, on the other side, you've got a spoolie that's very useful because after you just do light strokes in your brows, you could just come with the spoolie and brush it through and make it look so natural. But then if you're blessed with those full, uh, beautiful eyebrows, I recommend you the Clear Brow Gel, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills, just because it's going to set your eyebrows in place and it's just going to give them a very good overall look. Blush, cream, liquid, powder, mousse, it doesn't matter the formula, you have to have one in your kit because it gives you that beautiful, healthy look. Instantly makes you look younger and fresh. And in case you don't know what colors you should pick, I always advise my clients to get a blush that match their lipstick. So most of us have a lipstick that we kind of use more often. Well then get a blush that matches that lipstick. One of my favorite blushes are the MAC ones. And here I have three colors for you, one of the colors that I use the most. So this is Blush Baby, this is Melba. Actually this, I think it works with, with every single skin tone. This is such a popular blush at MAC. And then here is Peaches. I recommend this blush if you've got medium skin tone. It looks beautiful on a tan skin. And I recommend you the matte formulas just because they are easier to use. If you're gonna use something with a shimmer and you happen to have some imperfections around here, then, you know, it's going to emphasize those. So that's why I love to use matte blushes. But I have some cream formulas for you and I really love these uh, Glossier. They're so easy to use and they're not too pigmented like this one from NARS this is extremely pigmented I love this one but it could be a little bit overwhelming especially for a beginner if you're a makeup artist go get this because it's bomb bronzing powder because we all like that sun-kissed skin besides you could always use your bronzing powder as an eyeshadow you know that one of my favorite is the Hoola from Benefit this is a matte bronzing powder. I also like this Marc Jacobs bronzing powder. And this one in particular, it's just a tester, but I've been using it for so long and look at it. I mean, I could still use it for quite some time. Highlighter, you don't need to shine from the space. You don't need to put glitter on your skin, but highlighter is so beautiful. I mean, look at me. I've been baking myself in highlighter. <laughs> I've used quite a lot today. And a really beautiful, very subtle highlighter is this one from Hourglass. I'm so sorry. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette. So the way I use this, honestly, I just mix all the colors and, and it looks beautiful. Ah, oh, I forgot to mention this bronzing product. Oh my God, this is the best. I'm wearing it right now. This is the best. Soleil Tant du Chanel. This is the best bronzing product out there. I love it. I don't know if they still make it. Another really good option is this one from Bobbi Brown. This is a beautiful highlighter, Shimmer Brick, and this is probably the third one that I buy and the third one that I break. I don't know what's going on with this formula, but it breaks very, very e easily. And I took your advice, I mixed it with alcohol, I let it dry for like a week, and now I can use it. I know it doesn't look 
pretty, but it still has that beautiful color. How many times have you left the house with no makeup on and then later on you wished you had at least a lip balm in your bag? This is a saver. This and many others like any lip balm just to make your lips healthy. And to be honest, I use a lip balm almost every night as part of my nighttime routine. You need at least two lipsticks in your makeup kit. A good natural one that goes well with your skin tone and a red one, again, that really goes well with your skin tone. If you're the kind of person that says, I don't look good with red lipstick, it's because you haven't found the right shade of red for you. And although there are so many formulas out there, I still prefer the classic lipstick just because I think the matte lipsticks need a skillful hand to be applied and if you don't apply them really good you can see it like it's very obvious especially if you're using darker colors. I've picked up some natural lipsticks and these are one of my favorites. This one is kind of sexy from MAC. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, if you are light skin tone or medium skin tone, you're gonna love this one. Au Naturel from Lancome, beautiful, creamy, love the formula. Uptight, this is from Urban Decay, and it's a little bit darker, but for some skin tones, it looks just so beautiful, especially if you're medium to dark. The Charlotte Tilbury uh, formulas are really, really good, and this one in particular is Kim KW. Let me show you. It's this one right here. Last but not least, this is one of my favorite nudes for myself. This one is from Dose of Colors. It was made in collaboration with Desi and Katie. And this is in the color No Shade. It's this one right here. Just because I like more caramel nudes. I also have some red options for you. Here I picked some of my favorite reds and by far, the one that I've used the most is the MAC Ruby Woo. Such a beautiful red that it just makes your teeth look whiter, but it suits so many skin tones. It's such a beautiful color. If you've got deeper skin tone, I really like this one. On me, it doesn't look amazing, but I'm telling you on a darker skin tone, it's just wow. From NARS, it's called Shirley. And you've probably seen the video uh, that I've posted on my Instagram wearing this uh, lipstick. It's just one of my favorite uh, formulas. This is from Clinique. This is the um, Pop Matte Collection. The color is uh, 03 Ruby Pop. This one is from uh, Makeup Forever, C403. Again, more like a poppy red, beautiful, beautiful. And the Portofino Red from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna put it right here. I know that on my skin right now, they look very similar, but I promise you, these look very different when you actually apply them on the lips. Of course, these are the classic lipstick. If you want, you could always use a liquid lipstick and I really like this beautiful red. This is like a universal red. It's the Melted Matte from Too Faced. The color is Lady Balls. With um, this kind of makeup that I'm wearing right now, it would have worked amazing to wear this kind of lipstick, but I just preferred more natural. Brushes. Ladies, you do need to have at least five brushes in your kit. Mine are dirty because I've just used them actually. The foundation brush is actually more of an option. You could also apply your foundation with your hands, with your fingers, or you could use a beauty blender, whatever you like. But then you need to have a powder brush. And I really love the brushes from Zoeva. This is, for example, this is the 90 Lux Grand Powder Brush. This is from the Phenomenon collection. And everything that is like big fluffy like this is is good for the powder. The next three brushes that I recommend are blush, bronzer, and highlighter. And the reason why I use different brushes is because there is a different placement on your face for all these three products. So you have bronzer, okay? You're using the bronzer in here. If you're going to dip it into the 
blush and then you're gonna go here it's just gonna it's just gonna change the color of your blush and then you think like why doesn't it go look good it's because you're not using a different brush or you know you could just have two brushes and clean uh your brushes between all the steps that you're doing i find this brush to be perfect for bronzer this is the 127 brush from zoeva because it has the perfect shape i i prefer to tap lately i just tap the foundation like this you see and it's just perfect i find it to be the perfect shape for the bronzer then this is my as you can see this is my blush i'm just showing you the shape not necessarily the brand this is a hakuhoto b110 brush i like the size it's like perfect for the cheeks you see and then the highlighter this is the anastasia beverly hills a23 brush i think the reason why everybody likes it it's because it's not too dense it's not a very dense um brush it's, it's quite expensive in france i think it's it's 27 or 29 euros which i find it to be you know for a brush this size quite pricey but it just has the perfect shape and density to apply highlighter last but not least damn it now don't tell me i'm the only one who has a black hair on her chin my husband even named it that's how popular he is you know i just hate my black stiff hair that is always growing on my chin so i need to have tweezers in my makeup kit like it's a must not to mention that i use it also for my lashes sometimes i grab one or two hairs from my eyebrows and that my ladies conclude my makeup essentials kit why is it that i didn't include eyeshadows it's because you got blush you got bronzer you got highlighter it's like you already have three eyeshadows in your kit so uh let's keep it budget friendly in here okay a list with every single product that i've mentioned you can find it in the description down below by the way if you like this look i can make a tutorial so just let me know in the comments down below and i can film it for you maybe i've already filmed one who knows Please comment and let me know what is the product that you can't live without in your makeup essentials and what else would you have added? Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it and found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Really, it takes a second. Thank you so much. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook if you want to know more about me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.